Hi, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to another lesson for grade 5 chemistry. In this lesson, we are going to talk about an activity about the melting. Uh, I will explain you in this uh, video about how you will carry out uh, the activity and then at the end of the activity there are certain questions that you have to uh, take after performing the practical activity in your home. So let's begin with that. You can see on your screen right now uh, the activity is the melting activity. What we have to do in this one, we will investigate about the melting point of the ice. As if you remember in our uh, previous lesson, we learned about that uh, the melting point of the ice is 0 degrees Celsius. So things you, you will be need for that uh, activity to perform will be small ice cubes. You can easily get it from your refrigerator. A beaker or a jar. If you don't have a beaker or a jar, so what you can do, you can take uh, any of uh, other available pots in your home and you can put the ice cubes in that. And a thermometer and a watch. Thermometer will be the clinical thermometer even you can use for that. There will be no issue in using the clinical thermometer even. Uh, normally these days almost every person is having the clinical thermometer at his home. So you can use that. What will be the procedure to perform this uh, activity? You need to put the ice in the beaker or any jar that you are using and then measure the temperature of ice every 5 minutes until it melts. You don't have to heat it, just let it on the room temperature and measure the temperature, check the temperature in every 5 minutes and carry on the measuring uh, the temperature for another 5 minutes and record your measurements in the table below. Here uh, will be the table so like in time in minutes you will note and the temperature you will write down here at different uh, times you will note down. So here will be like after 10 to 13 minutes approximately it will gain the room temperature. After doing that what you need to do is you will uh, answer the questions based on the activity. I mean the first question is what pattern can you see uh, in the results. Uh, of course the pattern is obvious. Uh, it will be obvious that in most of the cases it is going to be 0 degree Celsius. The, so we will have the pattern that uh, the melting point of uh, the ice is 0 degree Celsius. And then what chart uh, will you draw to show your results. We learned this uh, already that uh, whenever we have to show the result we preferably use the bar chart. So bar chart we will use for that. And then the next one is uh, at what temperature did the ice melt. Your results will be in front of you after uh, uh, performing this activity. So you can make sure that it will be 0 degree Celsius. Sometimes it might be slightly different uh, due to certain reasons. So it will be almost 0 degree Celsius. And then uh, predict the temperature of the melting ice after 20 minutes. So you, if you leave it for 20 minutes, so what do you think what will be the temperature after 20 minutes. So you can perform it actually and then predict it as well. And then next number 4 is the melting point of pure ice is 0 degree Celsius. What will be the freezing point of water? Uh, this is just a question for you. So inshallah in next uh, lesson we have the topic about the freezing point. We will learn about the freezing point in detail. So there also you will be able to uh, do this question. So see you in next lesson. Bye bye.